What's going on guys, my name's Moriel and today I'm doing a quick little vlog. Uh, I'm doing something different today, the weather is nice and I thought I'd do a little vlog up at my sacred spot. I'm just walking there now, I've got my trusted companion Dr Pepper with me. Um, shout out to them, you're awesome, I love you, uh, send me shit. But yeah, um, what I'm doing today is not just a regular vlog, uh, in fact I am geocaching. Um, I'm going hunting for a geocache, apparently there's one up here. Now, I didn't know what that was um, until Music Technician uploaded a video on his YouTube channel um, because he found one in a vlog. So, shout out to Music. I'll put the link to that video down in the description uh, for you guys to watch yourselves. And for those of you that don't know what a geocache is, I will also put the link down to geocaching in the description below for you guys to go and check them out. But there's two main things you need to know about a geocache. One, always bring a pen. And two, you have to literally use your eyes because they're hidden everywhere. Um, they can be buried beneath twigs, rocks. Uh, they can be on trees, up trees. Nothing too much, like nothing life-threatening or anything like that, but still pretty badass. Um, so I'm going to go and find this one today and hopefully we can find it. I will obviously film myself uh, finding the geocache if I can find it. But yeah, apparently it's up there. That's where I'm going now, up this hill, all the way up there, like so. Um, and we're going to go and have a look, just to see today, if I can find this geocache. Now, accordingly, it says that it's on a stile or a gate. <sighs> so, we have to go and find a stile or a gate. Now, I do think there are some, like, stiles or gates or even fences up the top of this hill. So, I will film when I get back up there, because it's a steep fucking hill. Um... So I'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so apparently I've seen the geocache. I'm on the website, I'm at the top of the hill. Um, apparently there is a, I don't know if you can see, there's a lock just there, just there. Uh, and apparently it's on that, but the grass is really fucking thick. Um, so I'm gonna to attempt to try and go through the grass. I don't know what, if there's actually anything in this grass, like nettles or anything, but I'm gonna try and just, go through the grass just to see what we've got in here um, see if I can find the actual cache itself the grass is very fucking deep there are like stinging nettles everywhere uh, and I can't actually see the cache itself there's plenty of like bees and stuff around which isn't good because I'm not really a fan of bees and wasps and things like that but never mind um, so it is really where is it? I can't actually see it. Ah, guys, I think I've seen the geocache. So as you guys can see, it's straight down there, look. There's a little black sort of container. Let me just move this out of the way. Uh, here it is. Um, I'm just going to open this up. I'm just going to set my phone down. How do I open this thing? It's quite messy, because um, obviously it's not buried or it's not concealed by anything. Um, so I don't know how to really get into this, but I presume, uh, I presume we just, ah, okay, so I've got into it. Now the log is quite wet, um, the book log is quite wet, but I have found it. Uh, there's nothing in there really, uh, it's just a little bit of paper, which is obviously all wet because this isn't concealed, it's not hidden well. Um, so I have just signed it, but it's not hidden well at all, and therefore that means that obviously, because it's not hidden well at all, um, it gets wet during when it rains because it's just hidden in plain sight basically. Uh, it's not protected, it's not sheltered by anything. So yeah, that's one geocache we've just found. Um, great find. It's only small. There's nothing in there. Usually, sometimes you like you can see things in there. People put like little sort of treasures that they don't want in there and things like that, but. Um, yeah, I've just signed the, uh, the leaflet, the booklet. It's, qu it's quite wet. Excuse me, I burped. Um, it's quite wet, so obviously the writing might smudge a little or something like that, but I have tried to conceal it as best as I can uh, behind the rock that it was sort of hidden under. So yeah, we're going to go and do that now. I'm just going to go and sit down by my favourite pond and just chill out for a bit um, down the bottom of this hill. 
which I, I came all the way up there, which was the, on the other side of those trees there, uh, which is where I walked up. So I came all the way around there. And so I'm coming back down the other way. And then the side of these trees, there's like a massive pond where you saw me vlog. Uh, I was there last time. I filmed loads of vlogging, uh, loads of vlogs there. And I thoroughly enjoy sitting there, just sitting on the bench, uh, enjoying the weather, taking it all in, listening to the trees, the wind, things in the distance like birds, sirens, you name it. Just enjoying the weather while it's lovely because we don't really get much good weather like this at the moment. In England, it's been shit recently. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and sit out there and we're going to go and enjoy it. Consider this like a longer vlog because I don't really do vlogs for long. Um, I, I do match reactions and stuff of the, of the football at the minute and I've done rugby ones. But I don't really do long vlogs. But because I've discovered geocaches and that there are quite a few sort of within a few miles of my flat, um, I'm going to go further on and look for more soon i'm gonna just sort of go on a wander and find a few more and just basically make it into like a mini series of of geocaching um so this one can be called geocaching episode one uh obviously i'll put the title to that because it's not clickbait it's true i did find one um i did see it i did show you guys it so yeah geocaching episode one um i'm gonna go and sit down by the by the, the lake and just quickly enjoy it uh as I say, when you're geocaching, always bring a pen with you because they don't supply one in the box. Obviously, you saw how big the box was, or the little container. Um, you can't fit the pen in there, obviously, so always take a pen with you just to let people know you found it. Um, and then just put it back where you found it and just mark it off on the geocaching app, uh, which again, I'll put the link to in the description below. And you can just then tick that one off your list and find others in your area. And it's great because it gets you out and about and it's you know it's free it doesn't cost anything to do it you can obviously get sort of subscriptions with geocache but i don't have one um i literally i've just downloaded the app a few weeks ago and thought no i'll come and have a look um come up here uh, try and find it and it gets me out for a bit as well um, because the weather's lovely and you know i just thought why not why not get out on the lovely day that it is um on the eve the sort of follow up day of the referendum which it is today uh, I woke up this morning to find out that we'd actually left or voted to leave the EU so kind of a bit uh, on the fence as to what our futures are going to be like but hopefully we can turn it around we are a strong nation a strong country and hopefully we will be united still um, I've obviously read the news that Nicola Sturgeon the first minister of Scotland uh, the SNP leader has voted that she said, not voted, she said that there is a highly likely chance uh, that Scotland will move for another uh, Scottish, uh, um, Scottish referendum of independence. Obviously Scotland will become a separate country uh, and there's also talks that Northern Ireland might actually merge with the Republic of Ireland so Ireland just becomes a question again. Uh, a question? Fuck. Uh, so it becomes a, an independent country again um, which leaves just England and Wales technically as part of the United Kingdom if that happens and obviously with Gibraltar having their say it looks like Gibraltar are going to be playing a bigger part um, in things to come with our country even though they're you know the other side of Spain just on the bottom sort of bottom southeast corner of Spain so it's interesting to see that they voted um, they've got quite a lot of sort of uh, differences recently with Spain I believe Spain want to actually um, I'm not sure if they're trying to get sovereignty over Gibraltar or if we are um, sort of talking to Spain about sovereignty with Gibraltar I know obviously it's a British overseas territory like the Falkland Islands but it just I don't know what the deal is with uh, Gibraltar if you do know what the deal is with Gibraltar uh, comment down below because I'm not entirely sure but I have been paying uh, quite a lot of in term quite a lot of attention to politics recently so the past few years for me growing up with politics have been quite quite interesting to say the least you know I'm, I'm 21 in a few months and or, well next month and you know since being able to vote at the age of 18 and you know I do think the voting limit should be lower it should be 16 because there are quite a lot of people that I've spoken to that are like 16 17 18 etc that don't get the opportunity to vote yet know quite a lot about politics 
and it annoys me because those extra votes could have counted and we could still be a member of the EU. So, again, it's something that we need to consider for the future. Maybe an independent Britain um, now coming out of the EU, maybe the, the voting age as a democracy will be lowered to 16. I hope it does. I hope whoever becomes new Prime Minister in October, I've got a funny feeling it could be Boris Johnson, um, I hope they do implement that in a debate in Parliament because it's something I would love to see, it's something the younger kids than me would love to see and it's something that obviously will affect our generation and the generations to come. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I've been Moriel, you've been a great audience. If you like, be sure to leave a like, um, subscribe if you haven't already and until next time guys, see ya.